Welcome to this demonstration in the Oracle Database 12C New Features series. My name is Maria Billings. I work for Oracle Server Technologies Curriculum. This demo shows you how to recover a table from backups without affecting other objects in the table space or schema. This recovery method can reduce time and disk space compared with prior recovery methods. In my demo environment, the Oracle Database 12.1 is up and running and a test environment is created. The tasks are overall divided into two demos. First, we confirm the configuration of the demo environment, which is typically a one-time task. And in the second demo, we test the table recovery from RMAN backups. In more details, in this first demonstration, we confirm and configure the empty directory for the auxiliary instance that Amen automatically creates, that we are using the Oracle environment variables correctly. Then we log into SQL Plus, where we check compatibility is set to 12.0 or higher. We'll confirm the backup location, that archive log is enabled, and that the test data that we expect exist. Then in Amen, we check that auto backup of the control file is enabled, the Amen retention policies, that we have the data in the test table that we expect, and overall that we have a level zero backup. First, we create or confirm an empty directory for the auxiliary instance that Armin will automatically create when we recover a table as we demo it here. In this example, we use a recursive Linux command im to remove everything that ends on ORCL. We confirm that the environment variables are pointing to the ORCL instance and then we log into SQL Plus as the SysDBA. Your database should be up and running. If not, use the startup command to start the database. To be able to take advantage of features new to the Oracle Database 12.1, you need to ensure that the compatibility parameter is set to 12.0 or higher, which it is. Next, we confirm the backup location, and you can see that it is pointing to a location on disk. Then we also confirm that the database is in archive log mode. As sysdba, you could use the archive log list command, but by default as sysbackup you cannot. But in either case, you can use the select as we show here in the slide. We want to ensure that the setup has been executed, so we query the DBA tables view after a few formatting commands. And no row selected is exactly the result that we expect. Now we are creating the test table 3 into the test user schema. The table is created. And we are inserting a few test rows and committing them. Now we are switching to the Amen interface, pointing of course to our demo database. The easiest way to send Amen output both to a log file and to standard output is to use the Linux T command or its equivalent. There is no need to do this if your standard output allows you to scroll as much as you wish, but the Amen output can be long. So it's good to be prepared. Logged into Amen, we confirm a couple of settings before we back up our database. So here we confirm that control file auto backup is set to on. If not, you would use the equivalent configure command to ensure it is on. It's also always good to confirm the retention policy, which is set to redundancy one. And then we display the schema. You see here that our test table space exists as data file 5. 
Next, we list existing backups and find a level zero database backup. As you see, we have a full or level zero database backup. In this demonstration, we showed you the basic items which you might want to check before starting a table recovery from backups. So obviously that you have a previous backup and that all these parameters are correctly set. Please view the next demo where we execute the actual table recovery. Thanks for watching this demonstration.